Sangan UK was established just over three years ago. Our vision is to become a world-class powertrain engineering centre, a promoter and practitioner of green powertrain technologies. Since CAUK was established, the whole organisation and our teams have proved to be very capable and the company then decided to handle DCT270 to CAUK. We hoped to obtain a very good DCT product within the time frame and achieve China's strategy of using DCT as a main automatic transmission. We want to bring into the business best practices from European tools, techniques and methodologies that can enhance our overall capability in engineering powertrains. Also, as Chan have always emphasized a good product, a perfect DCT development process and an outstanding team is very important. This is the first DCT project, but we hope eventually this will not only be a very good product, but also a better development team and a perfect development process will result from the development of this project. Chang'an chose to locate itself in the Golden Triangle area, which is associated to automotive engineering. Here at Fenend, we are in the centre of that triangle. Our location here is ideal for links not just to the broader industry of vehicle engineering, but also to universities and other technical partners that can support us in our ambition to go forward. In transmissions, we have been asked to develop for the company a dual clutch transmission, a DCT, capable of delivering world-class performance in shift quality and fuel economy for our global ambitions. The project is going extremely well. We are now at the A phase of the project, we have completed the concept design and we are now into the first testing phases of the gearbox. To prove out the uh, system performance, the, the processes that we applied in this were threefold, we took three separate strands. Um, design for robustness, which is a general theme in the, in the project and has been applied to the mechanical systems, but also safety engineering following a new ISO standard, ISO 26262, and the third strand is uh, diagnostics. Um, the control system essentially is responsible for the diagnosis of the complete transmission system. So we've tried to pull all three of these strands together to develop a process that's, uh, that's world class and will be used as a benchmark for future Chang'an projects. We are following a new international standard, ISO 26262, and we're using this project as a pilot for that into Chang'an. So this will be the first time that, this, that to our knowledge, this has been done in any project for the Chinese market. One of the approaches that we've adopted on this project and a key process for us going forward is systems engineering. And that's typified by the equipment that you can see behind me here. And the purpose of this is to make sure that we are designing the complete system as a whole and not just considering the individual components and then their, their integration. And that top-down approach is absolutely crucial to the future of the company and how we improve the engineering capability of the company. This test rig was designed primarily to meet the transmission requirements for the hydraulic system. It also is capable of meeting any of the hydraulic ancillaries within the vehicle, so steering, brakes, uh, suspension systems. It can operate at pressures up to 250 bar, which is typically well beyond the operating requirements in a vehicle. So the test results will be used as a comparison for simulation and analysis and we can feed back the results of the testing into the simulation analysis, making the simulation a lot more robust. Because we've designed and manufactured it ourselves, it means that if we need to change any physical attributes of the rig, it's easy, we have the understanding, we have the background knowledge to it. This is the uh, Chang'an stores where we keep all the components for the gearbox builds. As the parts come in, we keep a record of what parts have come in and also that the parts that have been introduced to the system have all been inspected so they know what's going into the store area is correct for the builds that we want to make. What we do then is we enter the quantity, the bolt size, the dimensions, everything else into the computer system. So as we come and take the components off the shelves here which are all labelled in the trays, we know that if there were say 100 bolts in here, we take five for the build, we take that over to the PC and then we can delete that off the record and then that just keeps us a constant stock control. It's really important that we keep 
everything organised, all the stock control correct so that we can have an efficient build every time we build a gearbox. The UK Centre team has abundant experience and perfect processes. They have good planning to make sure this project is progressed strictly in accordance with DCT development process. We designed the DCT 270 by first of all trying to understand the market, understand the benchmarks. Uh, once we understood that we generated a technical design specification so that we could actually start to um, apply uh, design concepts um, based upon those targets. The way that we've controlled the design is through using a, an engineering change request procedures within, within the company here. This allows us to basically give visibility to other engineering departments about how we're making the changes to the design so they can understand from their own point of view their planning process to make sure that they're aligned with the way the design is moving forwards. It gives more visibility to the other departments about uh, what design changes we're making and get agreement and buy-in from our colleagues here within the UK and also within China so they're aware of all the changes. I'm proud of the fact that the project is progressing smoothly. CA UK and HQ cultures have gradually moved from being very different to being similar due to the enhanced mutual trust. Also our teams have become more cohesive and are more passionate. Generally what we try and do is uh, work on a face-to-face -face basis if, if at all possible. So by travelling to China or, or our Chinese colleagues coming here, we get a greater collaboration from a face-to-face -face interaction. Once those relationships are built up, then it's much easier for the person then to go back to China or back to the UK and actually have that dialogue through email or teleconferencing. I am a CE engineer in the design team to do some calculations and analysis to support mechanical design. We de develop our own tool with a graphical user interface so that we can do the same analysis and compare the results with the suppliers. The tool we developed here in the UK, we gave that to our colleagues in China and we discussed with them how to use that tool to generate correct results. And also we ask them what else do they need for the tool and we add that feature to our tool as well. well I think the most important thing for, for the customer is a product which is durable. Um, there is a lot of validation we need to do, a lot of testing, a lot of data acquisition, so we make sure the vehicle will drive well and it's durable in all driving conditions possible. In the vehicle, when we do calibration, we always need um, an accelerometer along with all the other information from uh, engine speed, pedal position, um, vehicle speed, gear position. Those are the main requirements for evaluating calibration. You have to make sure the testing you do correspond to the market you intend to sell the vehicle to. So obviously we, for us it's, it's China. And we are planning to get engineers from China to, uh, to come and help us uh, so they can have their say uh, or their view and help us making sure what we're doing in terms of drivability match the market. The last three years have been a great journey for the transmission engineering team. Together with HQ, we have come up with this product. I hope through CE UK, HQ and Qingshan's joint effort in this project, together we can create great product and benefit for Chang'an. In the meantime, our development capability in automatic transmission will become a first-class development team in the country. We've been starting almost from a clean sheet of paper. Uh, this is the first time that Chang'an has ever developed its, uh, its own uh, automatic transmission system. Our aim is to build on the methodologies for, for design and, and impart, impart that knowledge and expertise back to our China team. The understanding the cultures and differences between our two different uh, nations gives us the best way forward to basically bringing together a, a more cohesive design. This technology we want to take forward but we also wish to enhance that with other transmission technologies capable of being taken into hybridisation and into electrification of vehicles. Thank you.